friends welcome to my youtube channel dhanesh here so today we are going to discuss about automatic speech recognition systems so acer systems translate spoken utterances into text words syllables etc examples for azar systems are youtube closed captioning voicemail transcription diction systems and siri front end why automatic speech recognition systems see speech is the primary means of human communication it develops natural interfaces for both literate and illiterate users and it contributes to preservation of endangered languages as well so history of azar it, it goes back to 1980 uh, we had hidden markov models uh, for speech recognition and recently in 2010 we came up with deep neural network based systems nowadays even recurrent neural networks are used commonly uh, in automatic speech recognition systems see this is the architecture of azure systems this is really important the input is the speech verb form it is the input to this system and we will get the pros uh, as the output see the pros is the output and we have different models uh, different modules like pronunciation module acoustic analysis acoustic features acoustic model language model and decoder we will discuss what exactly these models and what is the function of these different modules what exactly it's doing we will uh, discuss in detail the first module the acoustic analysis here the raw speech signal are converted into discrete sample each of the sample is in the order of 10 to 25 milliseconds of speech this these samples are known as speech frames it is assumed that within each of these frames the speech signal is stationary and features can be extracted acoustic features so when we discuss about machine learning features it's really important you are aware of features these features are extracted from the discrete sample or speech frames here a lot of signal processing is involved it is motivated by how our ears work next module is the acoustic model Acoustic model creates the basic unit of phoneme from feature. You must be aware of phoneme. Phoneme is a discrete and distinctive unit of a language that can be used to do used to differentiate between words. Most of the languages has 20 to 60 phonemes. We were using hidden Markov models as acoustic models. Currently, we use deep neural nets as acoustic models like recurrent neural networks. Currently, we are using for acoustic models. Pronunciation model. This model provides link between phonemes and the word. Typically, a simple dictionary of, a pronunci of pronunciation is maintained. This is the only model which is not learned from the data. All other models are learned from data. Next is the language model. Language models are used for how likely it is, how likely is it for different word to occur given in the recent word context. Uh, for example, we can discuss like uh, he is running, he is swimming, or he is walking. So, what after he, what is the word will appear? So, these language, language models, you know, uh, that determines the context of the uh, context, how exactly we have to 
or write the next word or we have to come up with the next word also used to do disambiguate between similar acoustics sometimes you know different words should you know hear same so how we can you know um, uh, differentiate between uh, these type of disambiguate uh, words that's what language models do popular language modeling toolkits available are SRILM toolkit, CAN LM toolkit, Open Gram and Gram toolkit. Nowadays, we use RNNs, recurrent neural networks based language model, models as well. Applications of language models in, uh, are speech recognition, machine translation, handwriting recognition optical character recognition spelling correction these are all some of the applications of language models decoder it is the you know biggest component in the architecture and it is the most important component we got you know we have the estimates of phoneme sequences word sequences from different azr systems now need the proper word sequence of the speech Atrans. Here it is a search problem. Here we use search graphs using hidden Markov models. So you can, uh, he, we have separate videos for Markov's decision process and Markov chains. You can watch those videos to understand hidden Markov models. That's all about uh, speech recognition systems thanks for watching please share like and subscribe